G'day everyone, Marcus here again. This is video number three in the Health Philosophy series. If you remember video number one, we sort of discussed uh, what I call the health belief levels. And what we went into there is trying to get people to understand health and well-being from a performance aspect. If you want your body to be its best, you have to make the necessary decisions and take the necessary actions to try and help it along that path. The second video we discussed the concept uh, or the question of what is health and in that video we, we dived again further down that hole into um, health is an expression. So our bodies are constantly trying to express maximum health and wellness and it will do that based upon how well we are, uh, are living, how good are our actions, how good are our decisions that facilitate that, that expression or are we doing things that perhaps dampen that expression. So in today's video, I want to run you through a concept that I often talk to patients about in practice that um, helps them understand this a little bit further. So we kind of naturally exist in one of two states. One state being growth and repair, where our body's got um, a, the freedom to self-regenerate uh, and to express itself the way we want it to. And then the other state is in some kind of stress or breakdown. And these diagrams here are going to help us run through that uh, right now. So the top diagram is of a bucket, and that bucket is meant to represent our body's capacity to deal with stress. So as that bucket fills up and it starts to tip over, then our body will enact what's called the stress response or fight or flight response, which many of you may have heard of. Now when we're in that state, our body's in a more um, catabolic, which is our breakdown sort of state, and certain functions in our body uh, reduce in their capacity um, or our body diverts energy away from those functions, things like digestion and immunity, reproduction. Our body um, concentrates its effort on something that's more pressing and more important. The other uh, diagram we have here is um, a little chart that helps people analyze their lifestyle and put things into certain categories so that they can try and figure out whether it's helping their body and facilitating that expression or perhaps causing some stress, adding some stress into the bucket. Now, in our general existence, we all have latent amounts of stress. For example, if, this, if we look at this here, structure and function, almost two thirds of Australian adults are overweight or obese, which means those people are obviously not moving enough and their body's under some kind of physical strain as well. Um, if we look at nutrition and chemistry, uh, perhaps our diet also has some latent stress um, in there as well. Perhaps we're exposing ourselves to other chemical harm, even if it's just pollution in the city, um, if, if you go in there every day. Mental, emotional and spiritual stress. Uh, mental sort of relates to things like your job and finances, emotional family, um, relationships, and spiritual is who am I, what's my place in the world. Um, those kind of questions are quite big and that can be encapsulating. And when people find themselves in that sort of space, they can really drop the ball with all of their actions because um, that, that is one of the most sort of polarizing questions someone can, can face in life. And then energetic stresses, which are things that we can't really see or touch or measure um, ourselves, but it definitely can, can have an impact, things like radiation um, and so forth. And we also know that people um, emit electromagnetic energy as well. And we can feel that from people too. We're, we've all been around people that feel great to be around, but other people that perhaps um, have a real heavy sort of presence. Now, where we are at the moment, we, we've entered into a, a, a new stage of life where there is new stresses and strains. And what I wanna talk about is um, the impact of the latent stress that you already have in your body um, and how that can be um, causing you more harm in a situation like we're in right now. Basically, um, we all want to be the best we can. At the moment, there are no treatments um, sort of available. So the thing that we have to rely on is our body's um, innate immunity. And if we want that to be expressing, clearly we want to have as, as a reduced amount of stress in our body as possible. So we want, to have, we want to reduce that latent stress. Now, the reason being, one is because it's going to give you um, a better chance of dealing with any exposure that you might get to something like coronavirus or anything else um, that might challenge your system. But two, if you focus on reducing those, when you get new stresses added in, like in a moment like this, they're gonna have less of an impact. Because right now, if we start to look at some of this stuff, um, if we look down here, mental, emotional, spiritual, uh, people now are losing jobs. They've got financial issues. They're worried about their future. They're worried about their family. So this bucket is really filling up with mental, emotional stress. Maybe on its own, that is flowing people over the top. But 
we're also getting uh, people working from home. So they've got less general activity, they're not walking to the train, they're not walking through the car park, um, they're sitting more throughout the day, they've got inappropriate workstation set up. So they've got physical stress filling up their bucket too, so that's spilling over. And then, um, you know, we're, perhaps our eating habits have changed. Uh, people don't want to go out as much to get their food, so maybe they're ordering in more, more takeaway, um, you know, more comfort food because of the mental stress and that as well. So that's spilling over too. So as you can see, we've added some more stress in, but our bucket didn't really have capacity. So what a great strategy is in life um, is to try and make sure your bucket has as minimal stress as possible. And to do that, you need to go back and look at these areas of your life and break down what you're doing in the fundamental wellness um, areas. Are you moving well? Are you shaped well? What's your nutrition like? Is it balanced? Um, how, are you, how are you procuring, procuring your food? Um, uh, how are you cooking it? How are you preparing it? Um, big questions like that. What are you putting on your skin? What other chemicals are you coming into contact with? Um, how are you setting yourself up for mental and emotional balance in life, spiritual balance? These are important questions and they're important to, deep, to dive deep into. Um, obviously too big of a thing to do in a little video like this, but if you have any questions around that, then you can always reach out and we can go through that in more detail individually. I hope you found this informative. Remember, the idea is to try and reduce the latent stress so we have more capacity um, to deal with the new stress, um, and it means the systems within our body uh, are gonna be a better place to try and express themselves to their maximum potential, because right now, that's the best thing we can possibly be doing to try and stay well in this uh, particular time. Uh, stay well, and I'll, I will touch base again soon. Cheers.